Hello friends, welcome back to All Ananda. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Parvo Virus B19. And this is for USML Step 1 examination. So let's start a discussion on this briefly. So tell me the features of the Parvo Viridae. Parvovirus B19. Okay, they are single standard, double standard DNA or RNA. They are single standard DNA viruses. Okay, they are linear. Okay, they are naked. Okay, and they are icosahedral. Icoso, icosahedral. Okay. So let me draw if possible. I don't know whether I'm right. Wow. Oh, this is exactly what it looks like. Okay, so um, these are the important and in Parvo Viridae, the important bacteria, the virus you should remember is B19. Okay, whenever you, uh, whenever the question is given on a B19, the, the points that should strike your mind are one is it sh a, a clinical history in which the patient aged, a school aged a child with fever and indurated facial rash. Okay. And later he developed what you call a aplastic crisis, anemia, severe anemia, or, or a pregnant woman with uh, flu-like symptoms and develops uh, what you call a hydrospitalis, okay, or a history of spontaneous abortions. So try to think that there might be a B19 infection, okay. So let's start a discussion on this. Tell me the reservoir for this. The reservoir is human respiratory tract, okay. And what's the transmission? As it presents in the human respiratory tract, the respiratory root is the, what you call transmission. Fomites and the vertical transmission is also there as in seen in the pregnant women. Okay, respiratory root, fomites, and vertical transmission. Okay, right? How the, what is the pathogenesis? Pathogenesis, it affects the immature cells, immature erythroid progenitor cells genitor cells resulting in the, the cell lysis okay once the cell is lysed results in the anemia right and not only the anemia it also decreases all the cells of the what you call the uh, um, blood and results in a plastic crisis whenever if in USML examination they give the history and the patient was doing very well and suddenly up soon after a few days he developed a severe anemia with a plastic crisis and they give the history that uh, he might be some, he had some respiratory infection something like that then think that maybe B19 infection they are talking about okay guys so what are the diseases it can cause it can cause fifth disease okay and the slapped cheek fever slapped cheek fever okay then we have in erythema infectiosum erythema infectiosum okay the what is the incubation period is 7 to 10 days okay so non specific flu like symptoms followed by raised indurated facial rash remember about the facial rash okay facial rash right okay and it can there will be arthralgia also okay and what is the effect on the fetus fetus it can cause the congestive heart failure hydrospitalis as we discussed spontaneous abortions severe anemia okay so how would you diagnose that diagnosed by serology and molecular analysis serology okay and what's the treatment how would you treat that support you okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care